Don't forget to subscribe. Tell me, Droidicus, why do you think I <laughs> I am the chosen one from Atheon? Well, it says uh, Skills and J here that you kill you only kill Atheon uh, three times in a row. You know, makes uh, makes him uh, think that you are the truly chosen one uh, for the exotic uh, known as effects with the class. Yes, yes, uh, yes. That's all what it takes. <laughs> Didn't I agree? Didn't I agree to say me Atheon has a relationship, saying other raids are garbage and all that type of stuff, and it's only the only the Vault of Glass is the true king and king of all raids, and then all of a sudden Atheon agrees to me that <laughs> you know, you know the raids are garbage and just only Atheon, and then Atheon acknowledged me and gave me like three Vex Mythic classes and one and three goes. Yeah, uh, certainly, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, I guess you have a hundred percent reason why that I that I am considered the chosen one. I'm not too surprised if I change my name into Atheon's chosen one in Destiny 2, because I'm basically Atheon's chosen one. Oh, right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, Skills here. In today's video, this is going to be this is going to be a quick video of my striker <laughs> striker class because why why not? Arc 3.0 is coming to is uh, just around the corner in a few days later yeah, so yeah, so without further ado let's get started so I went up so I went up to see uh, created another tier list well this time season of the hundred tier list which is going to be which exotic is going to be more lethal depending and it's not a hundred percent but I decided to split them and split all the exotics that are going to be a even more even more of a beast in arc 3.0 no so, so I'm not going to be I'm not going to be surprised if it, if one of these exotics are going to be resurrected in the next season but let's kick things slow to the weakest weakest exotic in the game eternal warrior eternal warrior is the eternal disaster Unless Bungie decided to buff Eternal Warrior, er, this would have been, eh, this would probably be I'm expecting to be viable in the next season. And, and, but either way, here's a problem: you gain an overshield when you activate Fist of Havoc. Now, here's something to be eternal about: how about if if you cast your super with a Sentinel Shield, him eh, maybe. Instead of the Fist of Havoc, maybe Eternal Warrior would have been valuable, but instead it's Fist of Havoc. Yeah, which it benefits nothing. The only thing it can benefit, yeah, though, if it was Bottom Tree and... The only thing that is beneficial about Eternal Warrior is just nothing but a swappable. Yeah, and I mean by swappable, that means you just switch to your exotic, you just switch your, ex your armor around and, and transform it into Eternal Warrior. Bam, not that hard, but this is my theory. If Bungie decided to tone down armor swapping in Trials of Osiris, like I said in my previous tier list video, it will truly show how much viability every single exotic in the game has, has including the Eternal Disaster. So I'm expecting, I'm expecting a few twabs later few weeks later or a few twabs later that Bungie will finally acknowledge to buff <laughs> Eternal Warrior. So for now this one's the weakest one for Arc 3.0. Oh for my speculations. Now C tier is the exotics that has you know great niche in mostly PvE and has a little niche. Yeah. I think it start off good I think it start off good when I say MK44 stand asides. I think people underestimate eh, underestimate NK44 stand asides. Eh, you grant an overshield when you when you're at full health with seismic strike, hammer strike, or shield bash. Even though it's mostly benefit for sen eh, for Void 3.0, aka Sentinel 3.0, because when you think about it, it's anything that is related to overshield, you know, you gain eh, that you gain, you gain benefits from bashing and even offensive bulwark uh, aspect from the Titan and, and you'll be able and it does and the shoulder charge does more damage as long as you have the overshield you know, yeah, and even if you're not at full HP and even if you're not at full HP you 
Hey, combine that one. Uh, you can always uh, put up a shield, and it will be red, and it will be ready for you to shoulder charge anyone. And combine that with com uh, heavy-handed uh, combat mod, and it will fully utilize the shield bass. Seismic strike. Well, hammer strike in Soul 3.0, uh, not much, unfortunately. Yeah. And same goes with Cyber Strike. And the same goes with Seismic Strike. Unless you're running Void 3.0, oh yes, you can run. Yes, you can run Seismic Strike, a striker in or hammer strike as your style. But MK44 standard size is most likely used for Sentinel due to the overshield related. And not just, and not just that. The king of PVE, e damage for it, it the curious of fallen star, the mockery of the eternal warrior, of the eternal disaster, it greatly increases your thunder crash impact, gain an overshield that lasts longer the further you travel before striking a target. It, this, in my opinion, without a doubt, will be even more lethal for Arc 3.0. No questions ab yeah, about it yeah, against bosses against any other thing. Yeah. Yeah. And then we start, and then we go with the ACD feedback yeah, fences because melee, for melee reasons, uh, the only reason to use this one is was the, for the juggernaut. Previously in year one, but I, yeah, but as time went on, the ACD feedback is just useless. <laughs> Other than just using it for the code of the juggernaut, melee hits build up uh, build up energy. E, being struck by a melee attack reduces incoming damage and unleashes the the energy in a devastating explosion. I would say this one is also good for arc three uh, arc three point oh oh two if they decided to buff it. it it's just if now uh, now there will be plenty of now there will be plenty of reason why, because the arc is releasing the energy count as an arc damage. It yes, it actually does count as arc damage. Sometimes it will be a glitch in the game where it says ACD feedback. Uh, ACD feedback. You were killed by the Doom Marchers, and you were actually being killed by ACD feedback. I just find that reading funny a little bit, but. Yeah, but these exotics, if they ever get, if it ever gets a little bit more buff in the future, yeah, we'll probably see what it can do. Yeah. and the same thing goes with Armoritarian. Yeah, now I find Armoritarian a little bit viable because, well, if Bungie decided to get rid of the second grenade for the for Code of the Earthshaker, this will have a little niche to it having two lightning grenades because we all know that we are a fan of lightning grenades eight bam but hey, but for the time being this one in my opinion still needs a little buff in my opinion and yeah, because just having a single grenade isn't enough to uh, make use of other uh, other exotics surprisingly now the B tier now we get to the tasty part for the B tier is those that are solidly going to be strong for the uh, for the Striker Titan, in, in my opinion, and that goes where I pointed out Heart of Inmost Light. You use uh, using an ability grenade, melee, or barricade empowers the other two. Empowered means ability have faster regen. Melees and grenades do more damage, and barricades have long have more hit points. For example, if I use a lightning grenade, if I just use a lightning grenade and I use a barricade, the barricade has more hit points. If I have, if I have me, hey, both, if I use the melee, a, or a, use a grenade, gra grenade does more damage. It, which it lets it able to, but here's a tricky thing. Lightning grenade, remember sticky grenades can one shot, hey, can one shot hey, guardians? Ew, who has not who has less than who has less than nine resilience who is who is not a hundred resilience and this one is a very cheesy part to do it yeah part to do it so yeah so I'm expecting this one to be a little bit more stronger with you know, with 
the Titan subclass. Okay, A tier are the the. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tongue twisted. Forgive me. A tier are the of the exotics that is going to be very yeah, very strong with yeah, with Arc 3.0, depending on the depending on the yeah, depending on the subclass. Now Worm God. Now Worm God is without a doubt is without a doubt the Juggernaut Tree for this yeah, for this exotic. Melee kills increase melee damage for a short time. Additional kills extends duration and increases effect. Yeah, the burning the burning fist, the original the original king of yeah, the king of bottom tree striker, or you could just uh, say the the second best the second best exotic for bottom tree striker, yeah, other than using doom marchers. There's, yeah, and the same thing goes with yeah, with synthoseps. Yeah, buffs me buffs a melee launch and improves super and super de damage yeah, when you're surrounded. This was most likely useful in a situa in a situational type or playing aggressive. Yeah, playing aggressive such as yeah, such as using middle tree such as using middle tree striker with a ballistic slam managed to get triple kills with bionic enhancements. It's or shoulder charge one time. Or even got a triple kill with a shoulder charge one time. But as they reduce the radiance, it's kind of pointless. <laughs> and last but not least, the insurmountable skull fort might be making a comeback. Yeah, because, because kills with arc abil with arc melee, kills with arc melee abilities triggers health regenerations and restore fully melee yeah, melee energy. I can see this one very, very strong for Arc 3.0, for you know, for after getting kills with kills with Arc, with each Arc kills and each Arc well Arc ability kills. Kills will, well, will restore it. What it also didn't tell you that getting kills with, what it also didn't tell you is that getting kills with the super with. Yeah, with the skull for Arn will also triggers health regeneration and restores melee energy. Yeah. So this will be very strong in the next. And the plus is the previous counter. If you're using this for bottom tree striker, it's the previous nerf to bottom tree striker where health regen bottom tree striker would originally health regen upon yeah, upon getting kills with arc. And then S tiers, S tiers are the exotics that's going to be very strong in my opinion for Arc 3.0. Oh, this is just based off of my opinion. And the two S tiers are the the is the Peregrine Greaves. All shoulder charge abilities, seismic strike, hammer strike, or even shield bash deals bonus damage when at, activate in the air. Provides small benefits with airborne effectiveness stats of all weapons so yeah, so you automatically gain airborne effectiveness uh, for every weapons uh, for wearing the peregrine greaves and with the greaves it does insane amount of damage it, trust me it, if you're wearing if you were at sentinel if you use sentinel shield it will probably do the most it will probably do the most damage because uh, because of bastion because of overshield reasons and not just that, bonus damage while in the air is no slouch. That is considered no slouch at, at all. Oh, so ever since the ner so ever since the nerf to shoulder charge and the nerfs to one shotting, cheesy one shotting abilities, I could see this one definitely rose to the uh, raised to the top of the list uh, uh, to become S tier. And what else is S tier? Without a doubt, the the king of all exotics that nobody cares about, other ex even newer exotics, is Doom Marchers. Doom Marchers increases sprint speed, build up static charge, charge after melee attacking an enemy. <laughs> that ch charge will chain uh, damage to near uh, nearby enemies. It depends on the future. To me, honestly, I'm more worried about. <laughs> We should all be worried about Doom Marchers in the next season because everybody is just going to pick up the Doom Marchers 
is for Arc 3.0 and start Chain Lightning after Chain Lightning. Hey, if it's about movement or it's about Chain Lightning aspect. We'll never know in the future Arc 3.0 update. Hey, so these are, so those are my tier list of what exotics is going to benefit the most for Arc 3.0. Oh, I'm pretty much excited for already Arc 3.0. I'm pretty much tired of, eh, I'm pretty much mainly an Arc person, and eh, using the Titan anyways. Is and if I'm not running, and if I'm not running, something like, and if I'm not running, any other 3.0s, the only 3.0s I really mainly use is just Behemoth. But anyways, is but I believe it's in the future is finally going to be time for Arc, eh, Arc gameplay well just to have a gameplay at least at least for now but until then and that's it for today hopefully you guys enjoy enjoy the video until until next time have a good time have a good day later New outro! Well, it's still dog water either way. I'm just getting used to this share factor real quick of this new outro, so hopefully you all have fun and stay safe. It's a... And shut up, Ortis. Cosmic background radiation is a riot! Shut up, Ortis. <laughs> you have, good... have a good day. So, yeah, I'm just gonna take a rest. Just wait.